Since the moment Scotty and I moved into our house, I knew that we wanted to make our own traditions. If you have ever considered throwing a Friendsgiving, I can't recommend it enough. In this video, it's gonna be a mix of vlog as well as some tips in voiceovers, but basically I'm just gonna immerse you in our Friendsgiving and I really hope that you get something out of this. Please do let me know if you are planning on doing a Friendsgiving and I also have a free template in Canva just in the description, but you'll learn a little bit more about that throughout the video but I'm so glad you guys are here and I hope that you are doing well and maybe if you don't have a Friendsgiving to go to this year or you don't have the space to throw one I just want to invite you to ours so let's dive right in this is the day before Friendsgiving because it all starts with preparation so the update is I have just picked up all of the chairs I picked them up from complete rental and to rent all of them, it ended up coming out to $52.50, but there is a $150 deposit no matter what you rent. But thankfully, they're actually closed on Sundays, so I will have them until Monday, which will make it really, really easy just to set up. I could have definitely kind of pulled together a bunch of folding chairs, but I'm a little bit of an aesthetic queen. I love things to look a certain way. So I ordered the white padded chairs. They look like this. So right now we are going to jet set. We got our chai tea latte. We got our color of the season on. We got all the good vibe. I want to go to Michael's because I want to pick some ribbon up because I have very much a vision of how I want the tablescape to look because literally ever since getting a home, I have wanted to do some beautiful tablescapes. And this year, Scotty and I have our brand new lifetime kitchen table. So I am so pumped to see it all set up. And yeah, it was all set up and we just had little hickledy pickledy chairs. I would have been like, oh man, I wish you had rented chairs. So let's go and get some extra stuff. I'm so excited for this Friendsgiving vlog. I think it's gonna be such a fun one. So consider yourself invited. Home now, groceries put away, and a big realization. And that realization is the amount of time that it takes for a tur turkey, a turkey, for a turkey to thaw. And you may be thinking, Amanda, that is such common sense. Well, common sense ain't that common sometimes, folks. And I didn't realize, I genuinely thought, so if you have never cooked a turkey dinner before, you are my people. Um, but last year I did cook a turkey dinner. It just, I feel like we cooked it from frozen. Is this okay? Maybe I'll just hold you like this. Um, but anyways, <laughs> this turkey is gonna take about 48 hours to dethaw properly. And I am in no business to poison my guests. So we are gonna to go to what my mom loves to call Plan 42B. And Scotty is now jetted out to Costco to pick up a gorgeous big spiral ham. We've still got like brie bites. We've still got um, stuffing. We've still got all of the works of all the other stuff. And then everyone's bringing their own bits as well. Let me show you what I picked up from Ikea. I feel like I kind of got to show you along the way. But I was thinking, I love having a color theme, and I know the girlies and I were gonna be wearing more like neutral knits, and that is how um, to the grain I'm going. But I was thinking, you know what? I love that Merlot look, because it's not quite Christmas, and it's not quite harvest, but it's just kind of, it's just kind of sexy, isn't it? That like maroony look. And I was also thinking there's a couple of bits that I wanna get um, from nature to make the table spread. And I also got these little like hurricane jars, these little votifs so that I can put our candles inside. I picked up another one of these. This is one of the best things that you can buy. Here's the one that we already have. One of the best things in my opinion that you can buy from Ikea because it looks great. Like look at it on the table. It just, I think it just looks beautiful and it's Ikea, and then of course, their napkins fit right in. So I'm gonna have two, one at each end of the table, and we'll just have two, just like that. And now we've got a quick extra. And I also picked up 
all of these, which I think are going to be so gorgeous because I, <laughs> we just got this table and I genuinely don't want it to be ruined. Um, so now we have 10 of those, which is so fun because that means we can host big dinners. And I also got the maroony ones of these so that we can put those inside. I think what I'm gonna do is bid you adieu. Scotty and I will probably expand this table tonight. Maybe we'll get some B-roll. And if anything I'm doing, I'll let you know. But I will check back in tomorrow. We're gonna be prepping food. We have some really fun ideas. Like I wanna create a butterboard. And if you've never heard of that before, we're gonna get stuck right in. And then of course, make the tablescape of our dreams with an expanded table and chairs that will be matching. Um, because we also got the chairs today, as you saw. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Friendsgiving has arrived. If I can give you any tip when it comes to motivation of cleaning your house, it's having friends over. Sometimes the deepest clean that our house sees is due to company that is coming over. So what Scotty and I did was we divided and conquered. Some of us played around more than others, <laughs> but we ended up cleaning this house top to tail and it just felt so incredible. Good morning, you guys. Checking in for the vlog. Today is Friendsgiving! <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for you guys, super excited, Scotty. So we have spent the morning cleaning and getting organized. I really need, need to write a list, but in today's video, you're gonna get more of a how to do a Friendsgiving. This morning, I really was planning out, well, actually last night, I was thinking, what's something fun we could do to spark conversation? And so I sent everyone a text asking them to send me a fun fact about themselves that they don't think anyone else would know. So I made a list. Um, I have to go get those printed out. I might just print them on regular paper at my mom's house, my mom and dad's house, because um, I have a few things to pick up there and then put that on everyone's plate and it'll be a really fun way just to spark some conversation. So Scotty and I have been doing some major cleaning Everything looks great, Rosie isn't sure where to sit. Until Scott gave her a little spot. Um, what we're gonna do is expand our kitchen table. This is our brand new kitchen table. If you haven't seen yet, it's basically the dream. Um, but it does come with two expanders, which we will need because we're having 10 guests. And yesterday, as you would have seen, I also rented some chairs from Complete Rental in Hamilton. We honestly are on a time crunch as much as it feels like we have some time right now because we have a lot of food to cook. We both have to get ready. We got to set the table, do all that stuff. I want to do a nice tablescape and I've got to head to my mom's as well. So the temperature is rising. <laughs> And the other one is proving to be a little bit tricky. So let me show you a couple of little bits. I showed you this stuff. 
um, last night. These are all of our Fable dishware. We are obsessed with Fable as well as their cutlery and their cups. Um, we just love them so much. And for our registry, we added so much Fable. I actually do have a code for Fable, so I will put that down below. Um, and I'm so excited to have enough to set a table of 10. So we're gonna test this leaf one more time. So close. If you yourself are considering hosting a Friendsgiving or honestly even a family gathering, I highly recommend a game like this. The night before Friendsgiving, I sent a message to everyone saying, hey, can you send me a fun fact about yourself that no one else will know? And then I put them all together on this list. And the key is making sure that they're a bit more jumbled. So what, number one to 10 isn't gonna be listed the same as the names at the bottom of the sheet. And what I did was I actually put this into a template for you. It's in the description box so you yourself can fill this out for your own family gatherings. All you do have to do is duplicate that page with the facts and it's gonna be nice and easy for you to participate. And of course you need the facts. Home from picking up a couple of things. I am so excited to set up this table with you guys. So I'm wearing my little Cezanne hoops. I've got a Joseph um, sweater dress on as well as my little Loewe belt. I'll show you a little bit better upstairs because I think I'm gonna go pick my little um, iPhone stand so that when I do this, I can film a time lapse basically. But I printed these off at my mom and dad's house. Sadly, they were out of red ink. So our little theme, that's okay. Cause actually the color it came out does work perfectly. So we are all good. Um, and then I printed these out, got to cut those, picked up some wine glasses from them and then a bunch of florals as well. This was nice. It was like a 10 or what was it? It was, they were $10 each if you chose three, so I got three. So three for 30, we've got all of our food out and we are ready to get rocking and rolling. down this is my favorite tablescape that I've ever put together so let's break it down the placemats from Ikea they are fabulous thick and so well put together and then we have the fable dishware but what I was also really proud of was creating that ambiance so these little hurricane jars they were from Michael's as I showed you earlier but they call for votif candles and because we didn't have those and I was so nervous about burning down my house and burning the table we used these little electrical really easy tea lights and because there's the gold foil around those holders you couldn't even tell that they were the electrical ones and it it was just so nice to put them on and boom, they were good to go. That middle hurricane jar as well, that was from Anthropology, and we had that on our registry as well. I'll try to tag that down below. These were the little name tags that I made, and those are actually also in the Canva board, so you can use those too, very nice and easy. And I saw this inspiration with the fork from, I don't know, it was a random Instagram story that someone put of a wedding, and honestly, you never know where you're gonna find inspiration. For these, I just put them on the table. I didn't put any pens on the table at the moment, but people could go and pick them up and read them. And it was just so fun to see people reading the facts and so delighted by what was on there. It also kind of created more interest in the tablescape. One of my favorite pieces of inspiration was to use ribbons. Now I ended up scooting this little bow up to the top of the wine glass stem and it was so adorable. Originally I wanted the tails coming all the way off the table as in my original little inspiration that I showed you in the video, but I think I'm gonna save that when it's an all girls party because they would just understand the aesthetic. And a really easy way to add touches throughout your home is to also use your bouquet to add flowers to your washroom. And I ended up kind of tethering the little theme towards the washroom as well using the exact same ribbon and of course the exact same flowers. Flowers are an easy way to add to your palette and these ones most certainly set the scene and match the mood and these are actually glasses also from Fable. They are some newer ones that just came out. I believe they're the scotch glasses. Voila! I am so proud of this tablescape. Hello you guys, I am now realizing in this moment 
This is the third vlog in a row where I've gotten Starbucks. The addiction is real, but you know what? It is like my ultimate treat when I'm out doing whatever and when I'm working and, and all those bits. But I am actually off to pick up one of my best friends, Haley, who is obviously coming to Friendsgiving. She needed some help getting picked up. She has a broken wrist so she can't drive. Um, so I'm quickly going to grab her and then I have two different things we're gonna make together. I am going to be making like a roasted grilled garlic because I'm gonna be actually putting that on the first, I guess it's one main thing that I'm making with you. I wanna make a butter board so basically what it is, is it's this like beautiful spread of butter, but the butter has like drizzled honey or like, I don't know, you could put like rosemary on it. I also want to have a garlic clove on there and I got um, some pomegranate seeds as well to go on there. I'm just remembering right now that I need to call Scotty to get him to take out two butter sticks. So I am going to do that. But it has been so fun planning so far and I hope that you are getting some ideas for hosting your very own Friendsgiving because the excitement right now is so real. Getting to spend a dinner like this with the people that you choose to have in your life and have those questions and learn more about each other and just like embrace friendship and put down your tech for like a second is the best thing ever. So I highly recommend creating your own traditions. All right, you guys, I wanted to just show you what I am wearing. I am wearing my little hoops from Cezanne. I love them so much. Kind of like just sleek back fronts of hair. This is the Joseph sweater dress. It's cashmere. It is so warm. It is so comfortable. But yeah, it does get warm when you're cooking. And you've had the stove going all day and the oven. I have my Loewe belt on and some little tights. I kind of wish I had some more neutral tights, but nonetheless, it's like not a big deal. I do have a black belt I could pop on, but... I just love the way that a neutral belt looks. Plus, if we go take pictures outside, which I hope we can, I hope there's enough light. I'm gonna have brown boots on, so you're not even gonna see the tights. But it looks a lot less silly that when, than when I had just the socks on. But Hale's here. We've been cooking up a storm, doing a few things, and it's that moment when you're hosting where it's like, hurry up and wait. <laughs> and right now we're at the wait, which is where I'm realizing I need to take a deep breath, just take a little snapshot, look around, look at this beautiful tablescape that we've created and have a drink <laughs> and then wait for everyone to come over. But this is probably the last time that I'm gonna be formally like speaking to you on camera like this. Probably do some voiceover from that as I just want to enjoy with my friends but also capture some moments in between. So I will see you tomorrow for a little debrief. And again, like I said in the car, I hope you're getting some inspiration to throw your own Friendsgiving. Please do let me know in the comments below. Love you guys. <laughs> what do you think, Rose? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. This butterboard was so fun to make, you guys. It's so easy because you can't mess up something like this. You kind of just fly by the seat of your pants. I ended up finding this little recipe online and you just use garlic, put some olive oil, and then you wrap it up in parchment paper as well as some string, and then you're good to go. It has to go inside the oven for around 40 to 70 minutes. You can put that right beside your turkey at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was from the website Inspired Taste. It looks like they have some amazing recipes on there. I'll link this article down below for you as well. And then as for the butter board, um, creating it, I kind of put the garlic on last because of course it was the only thing that I had to cook. We had 10 guests, so I don't know. I didn't know how much butter to use. So I used an entire stick of butter and I ended up doing these little squares and then using the back of a spoon to help kind of make the, the little shapes there. And it kind of makes these little divots that allow you to put ingredients in. But I'm also mindful of sometimes people may not like an ingredient as much as I do. So I put the red pepper jelly on the side. I found that people didn't use that as much, just as a note, but the fig jam was definitely a hit. And the pomegranate seeds not only matched the color theme so perfectly, but they also added that pop of flavor. This balsamic drizzle as well, I've heard incredible things about it and I can attest it was amazing. I washed some of this little rosemary from our fresh herb plant and then chopped that up and I just think it looks gorgeous and it was most certainly a hit. Could make it off the front porch. Red flag. 
It's hard for me to truly encapsulate how proud I felt to host this event for the second year in a row. And honestly, I feel like everyone kind of knew the mission. They all brought their own piece, which made potluck so much fun because then everyone has something to offer. We also played our game, of course, and then we ended up playing the Huga game as well. I'll link that down below too. It is another game to inspire conversation and everyone has a chance to go around in a circle and kind of ask a random question that's on a card. And it brought up so many fun stories and just everyone got an opportunity to have the floor to talk. It was, felt so inclusive. 10 people truly was the perfect amount. And the fact that we could all fit around our table truly just, I don't know, it just brought me so much joy. I can't wait to do this next year. And I'm so grateful to have you along watching this ride as well. The older I get, the more that I realize that it's moments like this that really make up the good stuff in life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe. Consider joining this cozy little nook of the internet. I love having you here and it means so much to me because when I considered planning this Friendsgiving, I was also considering all of you and the fact that I really wanted to bring you along for this journey. And just to look back at it for ourselves in 20, 30 years, it's gonna be so fun to see us all together and hopefully this tradition continues. If you have any tips as well for future Friendsgivings, because again, this is a tradition officially two years in a row, so I want to continue to carry this on. Let me know in the comments because I am always iterating and building on events like this, especially when it comes to running the Matter House. You know what? This year I felt so much less stressed than last year, and it was like a palpable difference. <laughs> but anyways, I love you guys so much. Thanks for sticking out till the end of the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.